The sales amount of product A in November is 1600. 10% 10 of 1600 is 160. The sales amount of product B in July is 910. The sum of 160 and 910 is asterisk asterisk 1070. The average monthly sales for product A is 1400. Here's how to calculate that. 1. Sum the sales for each month. Asterisk asterisk 1200 plus 1100 plus 1150 plus 1200. Divide the sum by the number of months. 16812 equals 1400. The average monthly sales. The average sales for product B in the second quarter is 910. To calculate this, we need to add the sales for April, May and June. 920 plus 880 plus 910 equals 2710. Then we need to divide this number by 3. The number of months in the quarter. 2710 divided by 3 equals 910. The profit of product A in November is 19,000. The profit of product B in July is 11,300. The ratio between the profit of product A in November and the profit of product B in July is 19,000 to 11,300, which simplifies to 190 to 113. The sales of product B generally increase over the year. With a few exceptions, there is a slight decrease in sales from July to August and from November to December. Overall, product B shows a strong upward trend in sales. December had the highest combined sales for all products. 1,650. Product A, plus 990. Product B, equals 2,640. In September, product A sales were 1500 and product C sales were 1600. Product C sales were higher than product A sales in September.
The average monthly sales for product A over the entire year is $14.25. To calculate this, we sum the monthly sales for product A. 1200 plus 1100 plus 1150 plus 1250 plus 1300 plus 1350 plus 1400 plus 1450 plus The profit for product B increased by $1,900 from June to December. The profit in June was $10,800 and the profit in December was $11,900. 11,900 minus 10,800 equals 1,900.